Well, this is where evolution's going, bro. Because evolution is just the, uh, you know, it's just, you know, growing within oneself, if that makes any sense. Oh, here he So, goes. like, <laughs> here you go, number one. <laughs> number one, guys. Is he coming back? <laughs> we'll never know. <laughs> I know next time. <laughs> Will he come back? Another time. <laughs> we <We're going> back. <laughs> he- Welcome. For our viewers, really? That's a that's a God of War axe. That's a really nice shit, axe, man. Like, you about to conquer the uh, Nephilim this realm? This axe means you nothing. Know. I just drew it out of pure boredom. Take vengeance on this. Congratulations! You see, it's shit like that that I have to spend hours getting rid of. Listen, you give this man such a hard job. How about <laughs> you both shut the fuck up? How because about? this is episode motherfucking thirty-two. Give me 32, that shit. 32. Give me that shit. Oh! Episode 32. Wow. Holy shit. Can you yeah, believe bro. that? We're 32 Can you believe in. that? Episode 32. No, I can't believe that. What if I'm in a fucking dream right now? You're n- <laughs> That's what I feel like right now. That's what I feel like right now. Like, this is not compute right now. Are, yeah. Well, why do you feel like that? I don't know. Lately, I've been feeling more and more like we are in a real simulation. Like, maybe we are here together. Yeah. You know? You, get, you guys are you. You're yourselves. You're not a fabric of my... Uh, imagine, imagination. imagination but lately i feel like we're opening up a matrix assimilation yes of, of and i say this not like a oh i'm realizing you know i'm a i'm computer generated i'm saying i feel like lately it's been feeling like we're becoming more and more capable of understanding how the code of this world works how like the economics and the trends and the politics and whatnot and in doing so we're able like a computer almost like we're programming it we will be able to put in our own code Mm. And underline our own code and make this reality the way that we want. It's I've been feeling like that lately. Now, yeah, I've been just feeling might come off a little bit crazy. Yeah, just some, just for anyone who might have like resonated with that. Just know it is a simulation, right? You got to think about it like this. Think it's about it like until me. Think about it like an online open world game, right? It's an open world map. It was oh. created by this bigger thing, right? This thing we cannot comprehend, right? Sounds a little familiar. And we all have PlayStation Plus. Yeah. Right? Uh, That's our soul. Our soul is PlayStation Plus. PlayStation Plus? I got That's our soul, basically. And we're able to come in, come onto that online fucking open world place. Like the metaverse. And fucking live our lives. Wow. It is a simulation, but it's you're a, not yeah. in a dream state. It's a mental you're not, simulation. You're, you're, not, you're not in an individual dream state where you know it's your imagination. But can you control that code? Like, can can the video game character control... The video game, or are we more than just a video game character? This isn't Tron Legacy, though. You see, why did we get so fucking deep yeah, into yeah. this? Like, so so listen, we're just going right. I in. apologize to the people <laughs> that like the little filler content. Listen, man, the, the filler starts. content is just going deep. It's <laughs> over. No, we're we're dick. We're going in deep. In. Let me. <laughs> I did not mean that. I did not. <laughs> but listen, man, you know what? I, you know, I've, I've been editing. I've been editing. Yo, <laughs> I was editing the, ep- the, the episode. Bro. We're thick and deep into this. Is what I meant. Okay, we're but thick and deep. You can go with that if you. You meant dick. We're not. You meant that, bro. I didn't mean that, Santiago. Shit, man. So I meant dick. Okay. I mean, damn. We all have our excuses, <laughs> right? <I've- laughs> it's not a conspiracy. It's not a conspiracy. What the fuck? I didn't mean dick. Episode 32 is Sean <laughs> Gay. I meant dick. Yeah, so he said, all right. Oh, my God. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> all right, all what right, were we talking about? Oh, okay. Was the video game character. I don't know if you want to continue that. Let's you know what's funny. Actually, now that you mentioned that, when I was listen, not really a spoiler because it's in the fucking trailer, right? When we was watch, when I was watching Spider Man Far From Home, I mean No Way Home, No Way Home, right? The part where he went into the mirror dimension, and you see how 
that world works. You saw, you ever play, you ever saw like a video game outside the map? Yeah. It'll have yeah. things under the map that you have no idea what that's for, but they're mm-hmm. in the map. Mm-hmm. That's how I was thinking how this reality works. Like what if like, it's just certain parts that you can't access, but it's needed there to make the re- the thing function. Yeah. Um, just the structure of it. Yeah. Like the of? structure, like it will have like a, like, let's say if you're playing a game, it will have like a train at the bottom left all the way. Like you can't see it unless you get out of the map and mm-hmm. go see it. But that train will be in the game where it needs to be. I, I, I know, I know, I know what you're trying to say exactly. Yeah. Almost like, cause it, cause in the movie, this isn't a big spoiler or anything. Cause you say it in the trailer, I guess. Yeah, it's in the trailer, but whatever. And it, if if you don't want to know, then click out right now. Yeah, I don't just, know, just skip over like five seconds. But it's not a huge spoiler. But in, in, in the movie, he goes around and he says like, oh, this is just like a, this is the mirror dimension is just geometry. Yeah. And it was just like a kind of like a, a code of how it was. And then he was able to fling the spider webs wherever he wanted within the own code for him to somehow control. I didn't know how much. Yeah, for him to basically worked. like, he saw it was all geometry and then he found a way to like, Trap Doctor Strange. I didn't understand. That was genius. That was all. genius. I don't, I don't understand how exactly that was. Yeah, worked. that was He's a fucking insane. beast, bro. Yeah. I don't know how the fuck he did that, how he was able to manipulate. He basically was able to manipulate matter in the mirror dimension. Wait, I don't, wait, but look mm. at it. I, wait, because I asked, um, it can the video game character control the video game? And I just realized he he was kind of like a fucking glitcher in the video game. You know how glitchers be in video yeah. games, and they be like, "Oh, I know how this code works. I know how this universe is simulated. I'm gonna do this, this, and that, and fucking stick my my half toe inside this box." And I mean, lost ten thousand years in the air. The only thing the 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 character has to be aware it's in a video game, because if it doesn't know it's in a video game, it will just continue on with the video game. How do you re- how do you re- how do you become aware of that though? Like. That's something that is just like, we don't really have the answer for. It's just that you either are aware or you're not. Just like how we are in this world. You're either aware of the stuff around you or you're not. You think so? You think like some people are just like not born that way? No, they, they have or the like, capabilities. It's just that they have to ask the right questions to get the right answers. You're saying some people are real, real life Yeah, NPCs. some people are real life. Like actually, like they just don't have time to look into this stuff and they just go on with life. Oh, that's what Joe Rogan said, right? Yeah, he did say that. I think Sean mentioned that in uh, the last episode, how Joe Rogan said these people don't have any time to just stop and think about these things. Yeah, it was definitely the last episode. Yeah, I, was I, watching, I, think yeah. I watched the same episode that he said that too. Or, you no, said it. I, you said that. You brought oh, that so up sorry. in the last yeah. episode. Yeah, yeah, but I know exactly what you're referring to in that episode. Yeah, he was like. Some people are just literally like they're fucking off doing doctor shit or literally that takes me the entire day. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah. yeah. That's just yeah, okay. I mean, <laughs> in an ideal world, everyone will be in tune. I, I guess, but. yeah, everybody here listening right now actually is the other, the, the, the latter or the people who are actually becoming more aware of it. Because if you're so aware of it right now, this video, this video found you. Yeah, you, definitely. You attracted this video. <laughs> if you saw this video today or it came up on your For You page or your timeline or whatever. Yes, it's going there soon. It's going there. Out of the billions <laughs> of videos, yeah. You kind of Actually, right I keep there. seeing shit like that on my For You page. It's like, we, this video found you. And it's like some tarot card reading. Yeah, a lot of that shit is like... <laughs> Just like, all right, that's the algorithm right yeah. there. Yeah, that's <laughs> tell my, tell my girl, I told my girl that shit today. Like, you got to be careful with all these spiritual gurus on TikTok. Yes. You got to be careful with this false information, social media news. They are disinformation agents, okay? That's facts. The new new age of the spiritual movement is not what it's supposed to be. You keep getting these, you need to do this. And if you don't do this, you're not in a high vibration. You will stay here on earth, this, this, and that. I'm just like, shut the fuck up. (laughs) That's not what's happening. Yeah. We live, we die, we learn, we keep going. That's pretty much what it is. There's no extra anything to it. It's just you live, you learn, die, rebirth. That's it. And it's so simple that people just can't grasp that. Yeah, it's like they almost it's like they almost fucking are in denial. Like they yeah. they just can't accept that their life is just like the cycle of you just living and dying. Yeah. And there's no beginning or end to it. It's just a cycle. You just live and you die. You live and you die. You're reborn and you, and you die. It's just that simple. What do you mean? Are you talking about like people can't accept the continuation of that? Or like I feel like, I feel like that's too simplicity. simplified. I feel like it's too simple for people. 
Yeah, people, like people think like with scientists say like, oh, but the atom works because of the protons. And the oh, neutrons. but I was created you know? for a reason, so I have to, so I have to surrender my soul to a fucking deity and fucking pray every fucking day. Yeah, and fucking drink wine and and eat bread that is actually <laughs> recreating flesh and blood. Which sounds super fucking satanic to me. Yeah, right. right? A lot of people say, is, you know, I, I had a, I had a talk with my girlfriend. She's, she, I don't know if she's still a Christian. I don't know if she's like on that wave or she's in between. Anyway, I was talking, I was telling her like, it's weird. That whole Passover thing where um, you, you pretend that wine is the blood of Christ and the bread is his flesh and you're eating it. It's some weird shit, dude. I've that's never a, taken part in that. I've never actually like, heard of that before. I feel like that's weird. The the bread and wine. I've never heard like the bread being the flesh and the wine. I've heard like I yeah, yeah. Like, every, right. I've never that's, made that connection. Have you made that's a, what they say? You ever been to Sunday wow. Mass? Um, well, that's the Catholics. The Catholics do that shit so. on Sunday. I mean, whatever church they do the they same do that shit thing. every week. The Passover apparently was supposed to be an, an annual thing, like just once every year. And these Catholics do this shit like every Sunday. Yeah, to speed up that the satanic so process or some shit. And that is very weird. I, I don't know, but I think, well, thank you for bringing that up because I never went myself. So hearing from that, that makes me just make connections because I was just doing research on this episode about, uh, well, I'll just go ahead and spoil it here, but I was just talking about the stoned ape theory. <laughs> and I'll, I'll, Give me that. Here we go. Give me that. Here Wait. We go. Stoned ape theory. That's stoned not even the, ape the, theory. The, the, the big one, but I mean, I guess that's the overall arching topic of what I want to talk about because we wanted to talk about evolution today. Yes. Um, and it's so crazy that you say that because in doing a lot of the research, trying to, you know, pick out the, the nitty gritty of what makes up stoned ape theory, I started to realize how important what we put into our gut affects our entire genome. And in fact, um, there are scientists that came forward and said, half of your body is not you. Half of your body is your normal genes, your normal genome, and half of it is what you put into your gut. So it's kind of weird to see the connection between them putting, you know, the blood of Christ and or the skin. <clears throat> what, what no, the skin the, of Jesus. Yeah, the bread is supposed to say, uh, represent his flesh. I don't the know. The wine kinda, is supposed to represent his blood. That's kind of weird to me. It sounds kind of weird. To yeah, me. it is weird. And I'm not trying to, and I'm not trying to be biased here, right? I'm just, just look at it this way, all right? If if I told you that there's a almighty deity that controls everything and your purpose he uh, or he because they say it's it's a he right yeah he gave you a soul in order for you to just surrender it to him right like that makes any sense um I forgot what I was saying. And then that's you, the wait, you yes. wait, hold on. I just have to acknowledge something that hasn't happened in a couple of episodes. That's okay. That's, that's fine. okay. Yeah. But let me continue what you were going to say. You have to is jump that to a point. You surrender your soul to this being. Oh, yeah. And, and I, I offered you some wine and I told you, listen, this is supposed to represent his blood and this bread is supposed to represent his flesh. I want you to ingest it in his name. How would you feel? Just let me just leave it at that. If it, just let us know in the fucking comments section. Yes, let us know in the comments section. How would you feel in a non-biased well, way? Well, yeah, it could be considered bias probably because of how you framed it as well. Right, right, yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, but it, like, if you were to remove the names of these deities and just put them as a deity, like as a god, then you get to see like how how weird it sounds. Yeah. Like I just come to you. Yo, I found the truth. You must drink the blood and eat the flesh of the new God I found. What does that mean? What is the new God? What is the new God? Eat this bread and wine and you what? will find out. No, but like look at the connection <laughs> because over thousands, we're talking thousands of fucking years of, <laughs> yeah. of different <laughs> manifestations. <laughs> Sorry, I put it so full. That's okay. facts. That's <laughs> what it thousands is. Thousands of years of, 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 of oh shit, what the fuck? Of, of different storytellings and different uh, perceptions can lead to, okay, the blood of Christ and the skin of Christ, it being wine and bread, that can be misinterpreted over thousands of years to be something else. What if that connection here is- Made up. <laughs> made, well, first of all, made up, but what if there's another connection to psychedelics in the past, like the burning bush of, of something, I forgot what it was, but there's a lot of references in the Bible to psychedelics and psychedelic usage. I've heard about that. A lot of the different symbols. You you've, I've you, heard guys about know it. about this more than I do, because I'm not too versed in the stories and the passages, but 
all the different descriptions of different deities and uh, different figures and different storytelling is very, very similar, very uh, in different encounters, very similar to psychedelic experiences. Um, some would even say UFO experiences as well. I'm sure there's a connection there somehow. But I just wanted to bring this up because um, this, this entire talking point of evolution made me question where did we come from? And I think a lot of religion tries to describe where we come from. But like I said, thousands of years is entirely misinterpreted. And I just found this one thing that really just rung true to me about the stoned ape theory, about how when we were primates before religion, this is like 2,700,000 years ago, this theory more of a- Pithecus time and type of shit? I believe so. Somewhere around there where we're fucking, you know, we're- We're just apes. We're just apes, you know, we're, we're transitioning, I guess. But around that time- and it's more of a hypothesis, but the stone uh, ape hypothesis says that we started to uh, get down from our trees. We were like tree dwellers and because a different climate change, uh, all those forests were eradicated and we started to move into more flatlands and we couldn't find as much fruitful uh, food that we would in the jungles or the forest. So uh, apes started to look at cow patties seeing mushrooms grow out of cow patties and ingesting those mushrooms, then the DNA with those mushrooms and the primate DNA started to fuse together. And a lot of credible scientists today say we are a fusion of primate and they don't want to say like, alien but because like alien gets misconstrued as yeah what they don't want to like make that connection but alien but al as in a foreign a right foreign. something that isn't human yes not alien as in like it doesn't have to be galactic something in, yeah yeah right right yeah or whatever like interstellar or something it's not like something that's from space but, but it's just yeah. rather something that is out out outside of you exactly I, almost like i'm an alien to you because yeah, i'm not a within foreigner you. is right. an alien to our country gotcha um and I wanted to bring that to the table. Um, it's interesting. You know, I, I took, I looked into that theory, but one thing it doesn't explain, how does it change? How does eating mushrooms and gaining mass consciousness change your physical attributes? Your physical attributes? Remember, our skulls and everything are different from these hominids before. Yeah, so we look at it. Um, give me one second. They just started to think. Yeah, but that wouldn't change physical aspects. And you have to you have to remember this. If if there was a time when we were apes, right? Because I'm not too fond of that idea. I think we're divine beings. Yeah, me neither. I um, think we have. And a it's not an egotistical thing. It's not that like, oh, I'm not an animal. We're animals for sure. Yeah, we are the like the fucking epitome of life, bro. We're just we're just the fucking. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're anyway. just intelligent beings with a very complex body. One of the most complex in the That's animal the perfect kingdom. Word. We are the most complex thing yes. in the human because because of the fact that we are aware of our awareness. Yes. No, we cannot like there's no fucking evidence that proves any other animal is aware of their awareness. Mm. Yeah, they just proved only that. But um, what if that they're just aware of their feel? So like what if, like what if they don't, not aware? They just know don't know. what's fucking prey and predators <laughs> and shit. They know what they have to eat and shit. Mm -hmm. I, I like to think they are aware to some level, you know? So what if because we put these labels on these animals is because they can't build stuff like we can? What if they just don't have the body to that's do a matter, so? That's a matter of intelligence, right? Every animal has their own degree of intelligence. But being aware of the fact that you're aware. Yeah. You have to really, you have to take a, a moment and absorb that because it's not just something that you can just be like, oh, wow, that makes sense. You have to really think about that. But don't you think intelligence and awareness correspond to each other? Like they have to not connect? Not necessarily. Because so there you, are different degrees of intelligence, right? So, for example, how would an animal hunt for something to eat if it wasn't aware that that's the food that it's it trying to get? It is aware of the food. Now, you're not, you're not listening to what I'm saying. Being aware of the fact that you're aware of that. All they know is that that's food. I don't know. 
You know, I, I, I you take think it that here. a dog is thinking to itself, "Wow, that separate, that whole organism over there that that has a fucking whole separate life from mine, and and it it, it plays a part of in this ecosystem that that you know what I'm saying? You really think I mean, it, it thinks to, about no, all of that I, shit? I think it's aware to some degree. Like it, it's aware that it's a dog. You know, Zach, that's what I'm saying. I don't think a dog is aware that it's a dog. I think a dog just knows it's here and it's alive. I, I mean, I. I have it, it's weird because I agree with both of you on like both of the standpoints, and I think I think I, yeah, I, I'm not too sure like where you hold, but I see where you say about yeah, there are different types of they survived longer than us. Well, yeah, yeah, you yeah, have what? different They've been types around of longer intelligence. Than us. All Dogs? these animals, oh. but um, from what we're told, yeah, from what we're told, yeah, because there is a lot of other uh, I don't want to say organizations, but people who claim that we are millions of years old. Yes, I've actually said it before and this book yeah. explains it pretty well. Oh, show the book, man. Show the yes. book. Yo, give me, hit that shit for me, bro. Yes. <laughs> Fucking David Wilcock. Yes. Nice Wilcock. cock. <laughs> yes. David Nice, nice Wilcock. <laughs> David, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Dude. <laughs> but, um, so, that, <clears throat> fuck. Wait, I wanted to say though, but, um, Dude. Coughing right now? The fuck? Go fuck yourself. Yeah, I'm about you. My goes, mask. Yeah. Um, They're vaccinated. They're fine. <laughs> <laughs> what was I gonna say? Um, that you're a bitch. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not quite, Josh. Okay, okay. Good right. attempt. Yeah, <laughs> good one. Um, well, I don't know. I guess you want to bring up the uh, Ascension book, right? Yes, I was gonna bring up more about DNA and where that plays into role. So let me just talk about like real quick um, something that I heard. Um, actually, you know what? Go into that because I might actually build off of what you wanted to say. Okay. Yeah. So check this out, guys. Our DNA is way more powerful than we think. Okay. Man. So our DNA is basically the code to who we are and the universe as as a as a whole, because our DNA is generations upon generations of information pe- being passed down through genes. Right. That's why some people can naturally play a piano because that information is within their body. And some other people can naturally be good at basketball and stuff. You just made me think this is kind of a little tangent, but it kind of connects to what you're saying. You made me think just now. You see how uh, some people say that whenever you have a memory of like or you feel nostalgic towards something of the past, it's because of your past life. Yeah. But what if it's not your past life and it's your the memories of your ancestors? Actually, it, it goes to it goes. It goes together because your genome is your DNA throughout your entire lifespan. Are your ancestors necessarily... They're just versions of you. Right. They're not necessarily blood, right? No. It doesn't so have then, to be blood. It's just So then gene. I would... What would you call my... Like, so I don't... So what I'm... I guess what I'm trying to say is my ancestor is something that has to do with like a, a past life and not with a family tree. Wait, like actually, I'm Dominican, right? So yeah. I have European and African ancestry, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, this physical body has that. Ancestry, it's a physical yeah. ancestry, right? And then there's a spiritual ancestry, yeah. and that's passed down through the Shit. DNA. Yeah, I kind feel of like that's something we've never spoken about. Yeah. So there's two separate sides of ans- episode 32. Two sides of fucking ancestry: yeah. spiritual ancestry, physical ancestry. <laughs> yes, the two. <coughs> Can be the two are always connected as one, right? <clears throat> so check this out. So throughout evolution, we we're told that you know through the evolution theory, to be exact, that physical aspects of our very being can be changed through our environment. Now that's you know every truth is a half truth. You know of course there is some attributes to that, but like I stated before, maybe not on the camera, but I said to you guys that I feel as though that DNA after what I've learned from DNA, it, it has like a story and the story is going to get to the ending the way it's supposed to get to the ending, which means that everything in that story is within the DNA. Like everything that's going to happen within the DNA is already being written out. Like, for example, you know how they say like, uh, like if you, like for some reason, like, like for birds that they needed to get certain seeds out of flowers and they grew bigger beaks to get that. I feel as though that that species of bird 
couldn't do that. And another species of bird have to be there to do that. Like the DNA has to be within the bird in order to even so, do it. All right. I see where you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You have said this on the show before. Yes. Like a fucking dog can't just learn Throw how wings. to fly because it needs to fucking go up the cliff to, to hunt or something. Yeah, shit. it has to have that DNA within itself and already. So, and, and so the hypothesis counter to that is that, okay, these birds must have mated with other birds to then signal that to then get, you know, thinner beaks to reach in a hole. But I guess what you're saying is that they've had the potential within them, within their own genes, exactly. to be able to reproduce offsprings. What you're saying, though, kind of kind of defends his point of what he, me and him were kind of clashing with earlier <coughs> about them being consciously aware of their existence. Yeah. Because in order for them to think, oh, shit, I, I, I need to I need a fuck that bird <laughs> that, with, the, with the long beak so that my kids could, could have thin, long beaks so that they could get those seeds. It has to be super consciously aware of that. Yeah. And also, how would it be able to mate? You know, I can't just fuck a monkey and expect to have a monkey human That's what I'm, yeah. to be born. You know what I'm saying? Do, do you feel like then... Shit, we brought up the monkey fucking... Oh, oh, no! Back. Oh, it's that oh, episode. Something. Listen, Damn. all right. Wow. <laughs> Wait, so um, do you feel... Wow. Wow. Is it going to be like a... Wow. Why you wow. bring up the monkey fucking? Oh, shit, man. <laughs> All right. Shit. Do you feel I don't want to say because it, it sounds weird because I want to I want to be egotistical here, but do you feel like they're more connected to nature than we are? Or do you feel like we still have an No, I feel like we still have an upper edge on them because we're capable of doing what they do, but even more so we're capable of understanding the process when behind When you say they, who the, are you? The the other animals, like birds, crabs, shit like that. That's what I was thinking, but you know, knowing what I know now with in terms of like how spirituality works is that I feel as though that they are aware of their existence. Maybe not like, oh, let me like build this building or stuff because they probably don't have the bodies that we have. This is the, we, this is called a bipedal organism, two arms, two legs. We are the optimal shape of the universe. You know what I'm saying? Like we can do a lot of shit with just this body. Some bodies just can't do other things. Like we could swim and we could also run. Some animals can only just swim. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, We've, we've, Fuck, we've, we've well, no, we are like, on something. We're, um, we are, we are the most adaptable. Yes. We are the apex. We're the prime, the epitome so, okay. of life. Okay. Yes. So we are the most complex. We are the most divine thing that the universe has to offer. That, that must be because even before that the is, Stone Age It's series, a scary thing to It must think be about. over millions of, billions of years, if you guys believe so, that we've been, we've, I want to say gifted with this intelligence yes. to yes. adapt their bodies you, to this. I mean, come on, bro. I'm not trying to be biased here. All right. But I'm going to be biased here. Do you, do you <laughs> really think that we have evolved into homo sapiens over a couple hundred thousand years? No. How divine and, and just spiritually powerful we are. Yeah. We must have been around since the fucking beginning of time, my nigga. Like we, we are just perfect. Yes, we have. So been. I, this is what I'm going and I, into. And this is what I'm saying. I, I was saying that it's, it's a scary thing because it, to think that we are the the prime of life, right? Yeah. We have such a huge responsibility. And we, what are we doing? We're not doing shit. Yeah, we're just doing TikTok trends and saying Happy Christmas to everyone. And shit. But you got to look deeper than that. Even us here on this podcast, yeah, even our viewers true. just fucking doing whatever they're doing, just listening to this. How is this contributing to the fucking universe? That's How true. is this? You know what I'm saying? I know exactly what you're saying. I know what you're I'm saying. just really vibing with that right now. Yeah. Uh, uh, physically contributing. Just, Sorry, I said contributing. We, we it's, physically we're not really doing anything. We are universe in every single aspect because you can trace back our lineage off this planet into the universe and the crucibles of the suns and all the different stars that were forged in the beginning of time throughout the galaxies on the on the meteors and the Damn, asteroids. That's kind of sounds like the intro to like a, a <laughs> medieval video game. Right. <laughs> you, <can, laughs> you can trace back our lineage to that. So we are that. We are that primordial force of the universe that is pushing itself forward. And right now, at this very second, every single human on this planet is at the very, very, the foremost forefront of that expedition of the universe to understanding this world about where it came from about where it's going we are that push right now and everybody plays a very very specific role because some people are capable of pushing that edge further and further that veil further and further for other people to realize their true potential and we're all we're all 
evolving with one another at the same exact time by your own contributions. That, that's what our benefit is here. That's why I love this podcast so much. And we talked about that because I feel like if we can push that knowledge further and further, then we can use that leverage and help other people understand the humans are of keepers universe. of knowledge. Yeah. That's what we're supposed to be. But I'm going to start this quote, this, you know, the rest of this episode off with a question. Where does DNA come from? Where does it come from? I don't fucking know. You see, can we, can we just, can I just soak that in real quick? Yeah. Let's Where does real quick. DNA come from? The code to life and the physical universe. The original DNA. DNA? Yeah, wait, the wait, The OG wait, wait. DNA? What the fuck? Where the fuck did that come from? That's, that's what, what I'm that's saying. That's what I'm trying to say. So like, I, I glance over that question sometimes, like, eh, I don't know. But what the, f- what yes. the fuck? Yeah, what the actual the fuck? Look at what DNA is. It's just... The self-assimilating building blocks of life. And if life. you really think about it, you know, the planet itself has its own version of DNA. What do you think that is? I don't know, but the only reason why it's able to be a planet and alive is because it has some form of DNA within it. I feel like I don't want to get a lot of shit of this, but I'm going to say it in support of solidarity. But I think Ethan would agree. It's like the esoteric forces that, that are beyond what we it's, can it's see a in medical, this vibration. It's a, a medical, a metaphysical thing that, like, that we're not able yeah. to. I was trying a different to, structure right. of... What I, what I was going to explain is that imagine DNA is like the access key to an admin website. You know how some people have access to a website and you need like a certain password? That's what DNA is. DNA is an extension <sighs> of the website, but it's also the key to the website. Josh, that makes God, sense. God bless you. There's this guy who said, uh, William Bateson, you probably look up the quote, but he said... The more we look into where our DNA com- came from, the more we will be able to unlock the utmost potential of our complete future. I have to find this quote for you. Let this me is connected this- to what I got to say. Go ahead. <laughs> ah, yeah. to that shit right there. But while you find that, I'm going to continue a little um, bit. Um, guys, so I want to teach the world this as well. We have currently two strands of DNA. We have the mammalian DNA, which is mammal, and then we have reptilian DNA, according to the scientists today. And that also is more demonstrated by the reptilian part of our brain and the, the mammalian part of our brain. The reptilian deals with fight or flight, you know, instinct and stuff like that. And the mammalian brain is more nurturing and caring and stuff. So according to some people, we're supposed to have 12 strands of DNA. So I was like, what does that even mean? Okay. So I go deeper and deeper into it. So I find this article called the quadruple helix DNA seen in human cells. The quadruple helix. Right. So this is it right here. What the actual fuck is that? Right. So this is a quadruple helix in human DNA cells. That looks like. Wait, is this real? That looks yes. like the ultimate like that. fucking I, BBC news. concoction to LSD. You know, big black cock news. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Dude, that's twice. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> this one Shit, episode. <laughs> listen, listen. What's going on, Sean? Dude, no, what's going on, Sean? So, my piece together. so this is where the 12 DNA theory comes from. Okay. okay. Dude, is there a theory? Yeah. <laughs> My fucking eyes just burn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Yeah. I couldn't hold it. Yeah. So check this out. <laughs> yeah. According to also David Wilcock. David Will Wilcock. Here, right. David Wilcock. So. According to David Wilcock and other spiritual teachers and other people as well, evolution is not just physical. Remember, you can't have the spiritual, you can't have the physical without the spiritual. Therefore, evolution itself is also spiritual. So if you evolve spiritually, your body will move with you. Mm-hmm. Uh, it kind of connects to something I want to talk about. Yeah. Um, is the spiritual evolution, does that involve uh, emotions? Yes, I mean that's. Would that be the f- spiritual or the physical? That's spiritual, right? Because you feel those things. I have a question. So, what do you, what is your guys' take on what I like? I, I guess a, a word for it would be like generational hate or hereditary anxiety. You're supposed to break the cycle. 
Exactly. It's like a cycle, right? Yeah. Do you think it's something that has to do with our DNA, with evolution, or do you have? Do you think it's it's just something that's like a metaphysical force? So, so you see, the way I'm explained to spirituality is that you don't have just a physical body. You have multiple bodies. You have a a spirit body. You have an energy body. You have an esoteric body. You have all types of different bodies. And if you're one of those bodies, which is all of you in one, has experienced some type of that stuff in the past and hasn't corrected it, is going to carry it along with the future. It's kind of like karma. Wow. You know, it's going to carry that with you until you find out what it is and get rid of it. Because there's no like physical genetic footprint of like hatred. There is no like you can't go, okay, the ACT's G right here is making me hate everyone, (laughs) you know? Yeah. Yeah. Is it a a chemical that the brain shoots out? Is there any chemical that leads towards anger? Well, yeah, there's a physical, first it starts as an energy, like emotion is energy in motion. Right, yeah. You will feel an emotion and the act upon that is the physical part of the energy you're experiencing. No, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. But. (laughs) That was a really, I don't know, just a really powerful thing you just said right there. I don't know if you realize it or not. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just fucking with him. That's why, because it was really fucking deep what he said. I just wanted to like fuck with him. It's like, oh, no, yeah. yeah. (laughs) Dude, that's deep as fuck, bro. It is. That's exactly what it is. And we're here to master our energy and manipulate energy. That's what we're here for. I wouldn't necessarily, I can't, I, I feel like it's wrong when we, say, when we say we're here for a reason. Like, no, I don't know. No, that's not, not, not wrong. Reason. Not wrong. Not wrong. But it feels off to me because it feels like I'm speaking for other people's. So, so you know? the, yeah, let me explain what I mean by that. Person. So what I mean by we're here to manipulate energy, that basically means you're here to take control of your life. That's what that means. That's there's nothing more to it. That's what it is. So uh, back to the twelve strand DNA theory. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yes. Check this out. Where is it? Where is it? Okay. So according to um, this website right here, I'm gonna put the link in the <coughs> description. Right. It's called Whales in Space. Galact- Whales in becoming space? Galactic Humans. Oh. Sheldon Nidal on becoming galactic humans. Okay. So this guy, when he was younger, he had a telepathic communication with a higher being through his sleep. And he was telekinetically connected to this guy, this being. And the being was giving him information for disclosure. So what is disclosure for people who don't know? So David Wilcock talks about this a lot is that eventually humanity has to know what's going on. Whether you believe it or not, you're going to know what's going on. You have to be told because that is our birthright. No matter what's going on, it could be the most evil thing ever. We're going to be told what it is. And the outlet of which is being told, it's, it can be anything. It could be TV, movies. It could be someone actually telling you what's going on. But it has to be told some way or else whatever is going on can't work. If that makes sense. I don't understand how it connects like that, but... So basically... Like there has to be some sort of connection for it to be able to work somehow? Yes. Like in in order for... The reason why anything's going on right now is because we're allowing it to happen. You might sit there and be like, hey, I'm not allowing this to happen. But like... But you're not doing anything On a large scale... To not... To prevent it. And on a large scale, we're all connected as one. So yes, we are allowing this to happen. Mm -hmm. Uh, Okay. I see what you mean. And it's just being aware of the the forces that are... Inhibiting you. Governing when you say this allowing thing. this to happen, some people don't understand what that means. Yes. So what I mean is that if someone like, you know, if someone comes out on the news like a whistleblower and telling you, hey, Facebook is stealing all your data and then you just go past it, you just allow that to happen. You didn't say anything. You didn't make any steps to the action. And then you allowed other people to discredit the guy who went on TV and you accepted that information. So that is you allowing it to happen. That's what that is. So back to the Sheldon Nidal thing. Okay. So according to this guy and others, I've heard this before. It's not, I'm the, this is just one guy saying it. I've heard this a lot. Right. So I did a bunch of digging deep into researches. I mean, research shit. Right. So right now we have two strand DNA and what we're supposed to be doing is like through time and through different variations of light, like we said before, we will be unlocking new strands of DNA. 
And that new strand of DNA is a new dimension of consciousness that we're able to like actually perceive. Right? Hmm. So according to this, remember how I told you there's 12 dimensions. Apparently we're supposed to have 12 strands of DNA. Dude, sorry. That reminds me of this quote that okay. kind of says that. It's from it. I know it's crazy. I'm yeah, sorry yeah. to cut you, you off. But it says all living things must abide by the shape they, in, they inhabit. Yes. If we're 12 dimensional beings, then we must have 12 dimensions of our aspects yes. in many different ways of consciousness, of forces. So sorry. Carry to on. No, yeah, that's, 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 fu- that's fire. To think that there are 12 dimensions is fucking bizarre to me. It mind boggles <clears throat> me. 12 fucking dimensions. I can barely perceive four. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm only on four right now. Bro, I'm only on three, it's nigga. Five, yeah, I'm about to be three. on four. Yo, what's up? You know what I'm Yo. You yeah, so, <laughs> so basically how it works is that me. when you unlock these new DNA strands, you will be able to embody new dimensions of consciousness. Shit that we couldn't even understand before will start to be understood. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And along with that, with the spiritual evolution comes the physical evolution. Mm-hmm. Remember how we say that sometimes, you know, there's some beings that can just step in between dimensions with a light body and they can just step out and shit. You get a new body when you upgrade this stuff. Like right now, we're like, we're like level three mm-hmm. right now. We're in a three dimensional body, three dimensional space. We're level three right now. And there's fucking... <sighs> more levels to the shit of our physical attributes. So all these movies about tele, you know, telekinesis and all crazy like stuff like, you know, we can't say that that's not even possible with a new body like that. You know what I'm saying? I I really love the fact of having a new body because whenever I think about like hyperdimensional travel, I'm like, oh fuck, I don't get a body? I'm just a fucking floating like ball of energy. (laughs) But um, But that in a sense is a... That in the sense it in itself is a body. Yeah, it's a body of like yeah, it's like a vessel in anyways. Um but I mm, I, I guess with transcendence comes this same exact reality, not like this reality, but um an imprint of it, almost a shadow. And if we take that same ideology, like um all all things must inhabit the shape of that they inherit. And if we take the same exact things that we've learned about um electromagnet electromagnetics um, and how they form in the the human biosphere, the earth biosphere and magnets, then we conclude conclude that this universe doesn't just end. If everything carries on from one another through the passage of time, as we have seen through the beginning of the universe, we can understand how that might continue on into the future. People people believe like it just gets cut right after you die. I heard this saying, it was like, imagine we are a TV. And the TV's playing a broadcast. And the TV picks up that broadcast. That's us. Yes. Right? Yes. That's us. But if the TV breaks, the broadcast is still there. We just need a new TV to pick up that broadcast. Wow. That's what that is. Who you just, told you that? It's some video I saw like a while oh, ago. That's dude. pretty fucking fire. Yeah, it is. So it's no, it's no longer wow. gone. It's just that we don't have the TV to receive it. But that broadcast is you. It's still there. Wow. I, I'm just thinking like... Imagine like after we go or whenever we choose to go through a spiritual um, enlightenment, what we're really doing is, you know how we talked about the, the shape of the torus in the body, how that exists everywhere, the magnets, the batteries, the planet. What if, you know, there's another receiver of that in the same exact shape? You know, what if we're, we're the South Pole and it's the North Pole, and you know we just tap into our two consciousness at the same time whenever we're doing a psychedelic trip or whenever we're passing away, and it just absorbs our soul energy, and that's how we move forward. Because where does that energy go? That energy to want to inhabit a body, this consciousness, the consciousness that makes you want to do these things, that doesn't just dissipate yeah. out into the air like that. It travels somewhere else because it's not here. Yeah. This body may die, but what's out there that is inhabiting this body hasn't died and always always been around. Yes. It's just going to keep manifesting in the way that it does in whatever shape it does. But also check this out. I want to, you know, I want you guys to comprehend this right, real quick. So along with activating new DNA, you will get access to new chakras as well. Remember how I told <laughs> you this? <laughs> remember how I told this. you there's um, spiritual chakras as well? When you unlock a certain amount of DNA, you will have perfect masculine and feminine balance between the chakras. 
because we have seven right now. Isn't that crazy? I also heard that there are there are back chakras. Yes. Yes, there is. Just like there's, the, you think the root chakra is the last one? No, there's more down there. It's, it's just crazy. an easier way to embody well, it. Well, there has to be, right? There, there, there above, has to be. So As below. above, so fucking below, dude. There can't yeah. just be a beginning and an end. There is no such thing as a beginning and an end. Yeah. Because everything just exists. If that's the case, then any possibility at this... We saw Spider-Man, come on. Yeah. Any possibility... <laughs> Wait, if you didn't yeah. watch Spider-Man, fucking skip this shit. So, yeah, just real twice. quick. A- a- any we possibility... have a review coming out for that movie soon. <laughs> I will gladly react to that entire movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Honestly. <laughs> um... But so what we learned there is that just goes to show anything at any possible time is already existing. And I know it's a movie, but that movie describes theories and a hypothesis that exists in the in real life. I was going to say, like, you know, uh, my brother was, you know, because um, I went to see the movie with Santiago. My brother was talking about, oh, the quantum realm, you know, the different dimension. All these things. It's crazy. And I was like, where do you think they get that from? And he didn't hear me say that. But I was like, where do you think they get that from? You think they just sat down, drunk a bunch of Mountain Dew, and was like, holy shit. I'm oh, a, we're going to do this. You know, there's multiple versions you of me. think so? You think so, bro? You think these guys are trying to tell us something? Because yes. it kind of seems too coincidental that Marvel is putting out all this multiversal shit. Yes. When somehow we're entering a new fucking light, right? <laughs> UFOs are being fucking... The, the Pentagon is saying this UFOs are real and shit, aliens are real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Once all this intergalactic shit is popping out, this now, is, you know what you I'm see, saying? You see, talking. guys, they're always you're, on to this. Not, it's not strange. You see? Okay, good. I it's not strange it. when it's Dr. Strange. <laughs> wow. <laughs> is there a theory? I was thinking about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Marvel and the U.S. government are in ties with one another to release propaganda in the United States people so that people are more acclimated to see, feel, and feel the connection between UFOs and new contact in the future. They're getting us ready. Be prepared. It's coming, ladies and gentlemen. Is there a theory? Is there a th- <laughs> so, I was thinking about why they even call him Doctor You know, this is way off topic, but I was thinking why they even call him Doctor Strange. Because he's weird? No. He's a rapist. <laughs> <laughs> the f- what the fuck? Another life? So, <laughs> maybe the Mephesto, nah. <laughs> Anyways... <laughs> So, so I was thinking Just about no. You see, when you when you go deep into it, <laughs> Doctor Strange is not bro. really that strange. He's not that. strange? What he does is really not that strange when you really think about it. That's relative, but how do you say not? You that fucking strange? asshole. Bro, because I'm saying like the way he just interacts with the multiverse and mirror dimensions and all types of shit. He's a fucking sorcerer and stuff. But that shit is like modeled off the real stuff. Maybe he's not done the same way. He waves his hands and some shit comes out. Yeah. But like, you know, it's, it's modeled off of something. Do you think that model is almost direct? Like, d- d- I'm going to throw this out there. I'm going to throw this out there. Do you think maybe one day people would be capable of opening portals? Yes. Or, I'm not even going to go that far, but even like people being able to levitate or move objects with wait, forces. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean by Creative. opening portals? You mean like fucking actual wormholes in front of you? Stargates. Stargates. Yes, yeah, there's we would cases that of that. Potential. Yes, the thing is, is that our bodies in are in our limited. lifetime. In our lifetime, no, I don't no, think. No, I don't maybe think. Maybe not in our lifetime. Think, the way no. the world is going is like the way the government is ruling shit right now. I don't know if there's a, a possible future of us. But but so, look 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 look. In in a in a span of several hundred thousand years, our brains doubled for us to produce the capability. Apparently, that, apparently. Through, through, through the hypothesis and theory that our brains doubled, our neocortex, our ability to perceive and act and understand doubled in size. And we were able to produce now technology that seems like complete magic to what would be around 700,000 or even a million right. years ago or even a couple hundred thousand years, our technology. I'm just saying, what if a hypothesis was, this is just a theory that these forms of magics are just advanced civilizations, advanced forms of technology, you know, made down into little tiny scales that were 
like relics of the past yeah. that this has existed before, but it's just been, you know, blown out all the, all the knowledge of it and that we could in the future be capable of producing technology so advanced that it just seems like magic. Are you, no, yeah, that's are you asking, See, what, what are you asking necessarily? Like, cause is the, the magic that, that we think is just technology. Yeah. Like, what if those are just advanced forms of technology that we'd be you able see, to tap? That's so we're the not thing. That's the like thing. That. You know, what people don't understand is that technology is not just machines. It's not like just a, 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 a physical this, metal. Yeah, it's not just this fucking MacBook that can just do everything. Our body is a, is a biotechnology. We are biotechnology. Oh shit! Is we are the original technology of the planet. Give me a, oh, give wow. me one, bro. Holy shit! Yeah. Everything you see, wow. everything you see that is made from machines are modeled off of us. They even want to make robots that look like us mm -hmm. because we are the original biotechnology. We are the gods of this planet. Wow. Why the fuck wow. would they want to make a robot that looks just like us? Wow. They want to make a con an artificial consciousness that's modeled off of our consciousness. Cameras are evolved off of our eyes. Our eyes. Our, our, our neural network is almost the same as the network of the internet, supposedly how it works. Exactly. It's the, it's, we are the original technology, and that all comes from billions and billions, maybe even trillions of years of think DNA so? evolution. Holy shit, to fucking think. What Do you seriously uh, think it'll take billions of years? But here's the thing. That's what I'm also thinking because in the other dimensions, time doesn't exist. What if it was just always here? It always is because time is just... A construct. Time is a construct of the fourth... But the thing is, look, Third. time isn't just a singular thing, okay? We as... Because we are being, it's, it's a construct of the fourth dimension and us only being able to perceive three dimensions, we can perceive it only, we can, we, we can only perceive it separate from time and space. Yeah. And in reality, they're both the same fucking thing. Yeah. Space, time is the fourth dimension. They live, or not exactly the same thing, but they live, they live, uh, they coexist with, with each other. Well, so then let's make the connection here. If so, we go from 2D, which is just that two dimensional you go from what or zero to one so now you have 2d now you have 3d which is just infinite constructs of 2d set to a parameter and then you have 4d which is just infinite constructs of three dimensional spaces of time so now you have in 4d it's basically just every single scenario inside of a single object of that I guess that one yep. parameter. Like if you have a cube, if you have a square in 2D, it'd become a cube in 3D. And then that cube would be infinite variations of that 3D cube in the 4D world. Holy so that shit. opens up, if, if as above, so below, then not just in the physical characteristic, but in the, the spatial and temporal aspect as well. So now time, time as we perceive it in this collective universe as a beginning or end, if we perceive it that way in, in our universe, in our 3D, is now just infinite portions of time inside of a circle or a sphere or whatever. You see, bro, this is where evolution's going, bro. Because evolution is just the, uh, you know... It's just, you know, growing within oneself, if that makes any sense. Oh, here he So, goes. like, here you go, number one. <laughs> number one, guys. Is he coming back? <laughs> we'll never know. <laughs> Find out next time. <laughs> Will he come back? Another time. <laughs> <We're going> back. <laughs> Is he going to come back? <laughs> we'll never know. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's too funny. Right. Oh, man. What I was going to say is... <clears throat> See, you know how you know how we get a new phone every year? Yeah. That's evolution of technology. You know, oh, my iPhone slowed down. I need the new one. That's evolution of technology. Evolution of the body and the soul. That is much grand. It's a grander scale. Imagine what we can do with bodies that can step in and out of lower dimensions. You know what I'm saying? You can't even comprehend that. I can't. You, where, where did you get these superhero movies from? You, like, you what know? Would that even, what would that even open up? That would... If, if I was a fucking a political leader and I knew this to be true, I, I would probably think twice about, you know, just releasing yeah. the information. Don't get me wrong. I want this information to be released. But just thinking about it, what that would open up would be... Ridiculous. Astronomical. People would just be leaving their fucking dimensions, and you know, yeah, just be like, you know what, you know, I'm tired of this. 
Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right, Mom, I'm going to go visit Uncle Sam for the sixth <laughs> for Christmas. Yeah, you're with your wife and you're like, you kind of come to a decision. You're like, yeah, I think we could both find our better dimensional selves. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And you then know? you just hop into a different dimension. Right? And it's like a brochure of like new worlds. You're like, hey, look yeah. at this one. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I'm, this is so hypothetical here. Obviously, we don't have any science. Oh, yeah, of it course. I mean, I mean I'm basing the, you see, the thing is, is that <clears throat> let's define intelligence. Okay. Yeah, I feel like there's a misconception. Yeah, yeah. That. So intelligence is being able to take what you learn and apply it to new, okay, um, problems and stuff. Okay, that's what true intelligence is. Let's, I'm gonna hold on. So to when that. I tell you, oh, about the DNA and where it's supposed to go and the potential to unlock more strands of DNA, we're just connecting those ideas and what it could be mm-hmm. when the DNA is connected. Because truly, you don't. Is he back? <laughs> All right, he's back, guys. So we'll be back. <laughs> You're gonna have to get him caught up. And yeah, all yeah. That. No, listen, we're just gonna keep talking. Yeah, no, Go ahead. Yeah. So, so what I was gonna say is that. Fuck. What was I saying, Sean? You were talking. You- <laughs> <laughs> so it's the first time. <laughs> Uh, I'm blanking here. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to trace it. Um, we were talking about intelligence. Defining oh, intelligence. intelligence. Yeah, yeah. So, oh yeah. Basically, what I'm pff, what I'm saying <laughs> is, stop it. We're taking what we can, what we just learned about DNA, and we're making new ideas that it can be associated <clears throat> with this new knowledge of DNA because everything is a theory until proven. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, one day someone you know thought of space, and it was a theory. People didn't think it was real during that time. I don't know when it was, but people was like, no, you're crazy. You know, the earth is just the earth and we're here. Then when you get a fucking telescope and you can see that the earth is not just here, then the theory becomes true. So I'm putting theories out of what these new bodies can be with new strands of DNA. We only have two right now. Twelve? What the fuck are we... What's that even going to do? You you said, though, you were like, you were defining intelligence... And you're like what you, what you're being fed, or like what you consume, and then how you use you that You apply that, yeah. What if though we we haven't been fed the totality of the information for us to use at our maximum intelligence capability? I think that's the yeah. most likely scenario, and that's what, what like we what's going be on right being now. Being fed, like literally, I'm talking about literally, and you know, mentally being fed much more information for us to then use. We're not given the capability to use our intelligence to its highest potential. And some people are limited in that aspect. I feel like yeah. everything that they give us is just like, like even food is just filler it's food. Bread, it's everything breadcrumbs. Is, it's just filler information. Just shit just to just- surface and just shit on the inside. You see, that's what, that's why, um, wow, it's what's it Thiago. called? That's why you got to do research differently. Like the way I do research now is I take parts of certain articles because there's some truth in there. You got to take some parts and then disregard the fucking rest because it will tell you one little part and where people get it fucked up is that they discredit that part within the whole fucking paragraph of what they just told you. Yeah. But they just told you the truth right there in that one sentence. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm sorry, but like there are a lot of people that do that where it's like they you have like one piece of true information, but then the rest is like complete like bullshit. fucking bullshit. And it's, it's like they, they can't pick out that piece of information that might be true. You know? so now they're fighting with themselves. But hold up. There's this whole paragraph I just read that just said that that's bullshit. So what do I believe? Yeah. Yeah. But what came first? You're going to have to have the truth first to discredit whatever they're trying to discredit. They have to put it there first for you to understand what's going on. Mm-hmm. So that's why you got to do new research. The new way you got to do it is take pieces of information from various mm-hmm. sources. And if they connect then there you go. There you go. That's your, it's not a fucking stale, fucking empty bread loaf. It's now a fucking solid core. Yeah. It's like a rock of hard information that you can't penetrate. Yeah, exactly. And, and when the thing is, it's, it's not easy to put these things together and and get the truth out of it. That's why it takes years. But you will know when it's the truth. You you will know when like to just, to take a, a, like, let's say this explosion happens, right? And they're blaming it on a terrorist organization. (laughs) Bro, and you put the shit together and you realize that it's not a notorious organization. And it was like a government funded, like mili- mil- militant or some shit. Like, mm-hmm, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, you'll know. Yeah, exactly. You'll just feel it in your Just core. feel it. You know, it's some information, you know, DNA is information. And if it resonates with you, <laughs> that means you just went down into your actual information core. Like it actually resonated with you. I think some people just need to be 
fed just pure straight information sometimes not the reason why we don't want to do that sometimes is because when you're fed pure information you see the world for what it is and some people do not want to see the world for that yeah and i've been through we've all been here through you know what i'm talking about an experience where you're shown the world and you're like did i really want to see that Mm -hmm. yeah but in the back of your mind you know that you had to exactly then you can filter out with that capability you can filter out the the bullshit from the real information that you should be using and you start to have control of your mind where you can you can be fed these other sources of information but that one feeding you had that filled your gut and told you what is true within your core connected to nature we're talking about psychedelics here of course <laughs> that that can just open up the door and just narrow and skin out the weeds of all that bullshit. Now you know, okay, nah, there's nothing that can deter me from that. I saw what I saw. Exactly. That is not going to change me. So what's your thoughts on that, dude? Because I know you say you have some stuff to bring up about evolution. Uh, Yeah, actually, I do have this one thing that I want to talk about right here. And it has to do with... The fact that humans are, are, I think humans are the only animals on this planet that really take care of their elder, except for elephants. I know elephants take care of each other until death. Yeah. But to take care of, like most animals, you know, the parents just raise their offspring to just let them go and pass off their genes. Mm -hmm. But humans don't do that. Not only humans, right, but like elephants and other animals do that. Do you think that that's a specific uh, genetic or like a DNA that we have that we share, or do you think like what do you think? It had, like, what do you I think? think they're you know? just. I don't even know. I don't even know how, does, how to fucking does, phrase it. <laughs> you see, it probably does have to do with DNA because remember I told you about mammalian DNA is more about nurturing and caring and stuff. You know, we have a good amount of that <laughs> i'm pretty sure that the that's probably where that comes from and they're super intelligent dude you ever seen elephants play with humans they're fucking intense it's fucking crazy i've seen this video Same. of this elephant taking this girl's hat like hiding it from her put it in her mouth maybe, yeah, yeah. maybe pretend and then, she, and she was it. like she was like wait i want that back and the elephant gave it back to her oh, i just saw that you know video, what I'm actually, saying? yeah i just like, saw that you cannot tell me that elephant doesn't know what's going on right it knows yeah, what's I seen going a, on i seen a, a, a video of a, this woman at a zoo it was a, she was like dancing for, a, I think it was a bonobo. It was a type of ape okay. that kind of looks like a chimpanzee. Um, and it was, she was jumping up and down and, you know, like moving yeah, like a yeah, monkey yeah. to try to get the, the, and the monkey was going, he was nodding, he was nodding and he started jumping and jumping. And then he sat back down and started clapping for her. Like, <laughs> yes, you're a good animal. Good job. <laughs> you know, I so, see the meme. It was like, yo, monkeys just don't want to talk so they don't have to pay taxes. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, nigga, you almost made my that motherfucker, come out. That motherfucker that said was it. hilarious. That motherfucker was like, they pay what? Ooh, ah, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm <laughs> oh, It's kind of weird. I was, I was, I was, I forgot who I was talking to about this, but I wanted to make like a primal like curse word. It's like just fucking weird people to fuck out so they don't fuck with you. What What would be like instead of saying cur- like instead of saying like fuck you suck my dick, which I've been thinking about lately. Like to like New Yorkers are really weird for telling people to suck their dick. Yeah. All right. <laughs> It's, like a, it's, a, it's a form of us yeah. saying fuck you But now that I'm really thinking about it It's like yo suck my dick Like, like whoa, hey, yo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, whoa Where did that come from What, <laughs> is, what are you talking about my friend what are you <laughs> what are you? What are you? <laughs> oh, what was I getting? No, well, I, I wanted to, I wanted know, to answer your question because you were talking about you were talking about elephants, right? Yeah, yeah, and I said, or not elephants necessarily, but yeah, you know what? Taking I care of their elders. Taking care of their elders, and that's so crazy. Um, I didn't hear about that, but um, I I truly do believe it comes down to the neocortex. I was doing like a tiny bit of research on it just to find out like what it was, and it the neocortex is directly responsible for higher perceptions, higher states of perceptions. Literally what we talk about in awareness is just a higher state of perception. And also um, the memory of uh, specific facts, mm. facts that you know like to be true. And that, act- that actually can be stimulated uh, through magnetics. They can put a magnet on your neocortex and you would just stop fucking remembering all the shit that you knew apparently. 
They do it Fuck. in some specific way. But I think pretty crazy. I sound like some Nazi torture some fucking, shit. That that I sound like some K Ultra <laughs> shit. Yeah. You just tied like, a big ass magnet on your head. Um <laughs> all right, anyway, yeah, what were you saying? I think I wanna try that someday. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I think the connection this has to do is because the neocortex is also responsible for language. And what we know is throughout history, we're always passing down on language. Whenever we talk to our elders, we take phrases from our elders. We, we learn things from other people. So I think in the growth of our neocortex, which was directly stimulated by our supposed psychedelic usage 200,000 years ago, um, the explosion of that allowed us to cater to our elders more significantly because we knew we could understand more about the universe from their past experiences. If we just let that shit go, our perception would be fucking shit. We wouldn't know anything about the universe, but we know a lot about the universe because of what we learned in our past. So I, yes. I hope that answers the question in some way. Why we place so much importance and relevance on our elders is because you can learn so much shit from the lost histories of our ancient past than you ever could by just standing here, you know, just learning as you go. And I don't think it has to just, I don't think there's only one answer necessarily. No, sure. But yeah. what you said is definitely one of the big major answers. And I was thinking to myself, you know, like as I asked the question, I also asked myself, I was thinking it also has to do with like a sense of repayment. Mm -hmm. You brought me into this life as the divine being that I am and I shall repay you by taking care of you when you're frail and old. That's a beautiful way. Yeah, that's also yeah. A, another big thing. Yeah, that's something that most people just go. I <laughs> feel like... But I also think it also has to do with their brain as well. Like also like on a physical aspect, you can't harbor... A that's, certain that's amount, what he was yeah, yeah. A certain amount of intelligence without having the tools to do so. Like that's what he was saying. The neocortex. Yeah, like an old computer the, can't do the, what this computer can do. The different bodies of the minds that you were talking about. It's just different bodies of that same structure. That was just a physical one, and then you have the emotional aspect. You know, it, uh, it's just kind of random thought that I just had right now. It's so bizarre how we come out like almost one hundred percent like of both our parents. You know, we're the, we're the perfect mix of both of our parents, right? Well, physically, yes. Physically, right? But that's the thing is, like, okay, <laughs> in the spiritual world, is there like a mom and a dad? No. You see what I'm saying? Like, my mom and my dad in this world, who are they to me? They're just different versions of you. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, that's I, crazy. No, don't give me that. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I was just thinking, I was like, yo, w what if when my mom goes into the spirituals, we're, oh. well, she's just out there. She's just doing her own shit. You know, she's, she's whatever, like going out there, having fun, like blasting mm -hmm. off. And then there's just, I mean, I do believe that. I, well, I do believe my mom has, I have a spiritual connection with my mom. Like, yes, I'm just, course. I'm just saying that for sure. Um, but I do believe there are other spiritual connections out there in this universe that really, because when I was on psychedelics, when I took like a 2.5 gram dose by myself and I just closed my eyes, I, I felt this blue mother figure come down from space and just harbor over my chest. And she was like telling me to like, come, just come with me. Like, let me show you. And I was like, so like afraid. Like I was literally like shaking. Like I, I didn't know how to let go, but she was just there. And I've met my father figure too in the first meditation experience I'd ever had. When I told you guys that crazy, yeah. that was a father figure. That was like God, like he, he was a man too. Just touching my test, uh, telling me everything would be okay, and the same thing. <laughs> they said well, testing. Well, said like, testing yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> the third time today. Okay. 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 Are you okay, bro? Testicles today. <laughs> Show me where he touched you. <laughs> right here. You gotta open the bottle cap, though. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> no. Um, but, it, but that's... Wow, I, I love listening to you guys speak about that, because as much as I... I I, I know that I know, or I believe that I know, you, you guys always like show me that there's so much, a much deeper layer to all this shit. Of course there is. can perceive. Yeah, there's like a, this, the thing is, is that, you know, there's so much deeper layers, but you know, we, since we can't comprehend the other layers, we can only take what we got in this dimension. You know, we make our best inferences on what the other possibilities are, p possibilities are right? So, the answer to your question of um, are we spiritually connected to people? Yes, we are. But, well, that was a weird thing <laughs> I throw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that your esophagus? Yeah. So it's like a bubble. Just swallow. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so in terms of like 
us being, you know, spiritually connected to people, yes, that's true. But they are just different versions of us. We are separate souls, yes. But they're just another version of our main soul. Okay, you see, that's where I'm getting fucking confused. And that's kind of what I wanted to get at. Okay. Is there a, like a certain, due to who, who you are physically related to, uh, you come from, let's say, like a spiritual community that is just this one entity of energy and it feeds different souls from time to time, but you are still related to each other spiritually and physically. Did I say that I know, correctly? I know, I know what you're saying. Did I say that right? The thing is, dude, is I'm, that... I'm, I'm formulating see, what, on the physical, what you're on the physical, we belong to a different ethnicity and stuff like that, but you see on the spiritual but No, sense, I don't mean ethnicity. No, I, mean, I know what you mean, like different, like... Wait, no, re- related to a soul family or something like that. Because I, because <coughs> my Explain mother, more. my mother and my sister, my brother and my and my father, right? Yeah. Okay, let's just take my mother and my father right now, okay? Okay. I'm related to them here only by blood. Yes. Not by not in a spiritual sense. They are you. Of course, we are. I'm you too. We're all yes. each other. But I'm saying, is there a deeper connection? What well, I. I think I just answered my own question. That deeper connect- connection is this physical connection. This, I guess, this we're I guess being so. related by blood. Wait, they say they say you know when you meet your friends, you you meet your past soul group. You guys, you yeah told me that as well. <laughs> yes, I did. You have a soul group, dude, and you have contracts and a with soul them. family. Maybe you know you have a, you do have a soul. That family. I know. Do you remember when I tripped in Devon in yeah. Dev's crib? I told you about and, it, and yeah. I told you I just I just witnessed everybody. No, this was in Jerry's crib, and I oh, told yeah, you told yeah. me be here now. Word. I was in a fucking play. Yo, fucking story time. What the what, 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 other one? Oh, which one? That's a lot of damage. Oh. No way. No, it's not it. It's not oh, it. Shit. Oh, shit. That's oh, what it's that one. Yeah, That's yeah. We're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it again. Right? Do it again. No, it was actually it was in Jerry's crib. Oh shit! Oh shit! Story oh, time! Let's go. Oh shit! Oh, all right, shit. all right, all right, all right. Listen, Story bro. Time. In my cousin Jerry's crib, we fucking trip mega hard. All right, we were fucking. We thought we were taking an eighth, but it was like four grams. It was like four point five. Four point five. A whole gram more. That'll that'll, mm. that'll do it, bro. That'll half it you. half a gram of mushrooms. Just a 0.5 of a gram of a mushroom is it's enough a big to, difference. To, to, to tip the scales. Mm-hmm. Anyway. <laughs> Whoa. That was pretty scary. That was scary. It sounded like a scary it's, movie it's, entrance. It's setting the tone. It's like, yeah. like it just like it switched to the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I zoom to his face. We're setting the tone for the story right now. Yeah. You were at Jerry's crib taking supposedly 3.5. Apparently, allegedly, we took 4.5 grams of mushrooms, right? Of psilocybin infused chocolate. Mm. And, um, very tasty, by the way. Yeah, yeah it was really good, actually. Magical. You didn't really taste it. <laughs> I reached a place where I defined it to Josh as a place where I felt one with everything. I cried. I laughed. I was, excuse me, I was angry. I was excited. I felt everything. I felt everything at once. And I also, Remembered people who I forgot about. People from every single person that I met in my life. I experienced them right in front of me and within me. And I also and I also didn't experience them. It was weird. Everything was going on. Everything was happening at once. You did experience them. I did and I didn't. What is the did? The fact that it's all in my head. Everything that I'm seeing is in my head, and I'm not experiencing that. But I am because I'm here right now. Yeah. I'm not yeah. going crazy. I, I know what I'm what seeing. You're saying, and I just remember even talking to you guys, talking to everyone I went to school with that I was like kind of friends with. Like you, you played an important role in my life. I, I remember having conversations with each, with each person, and I was only out on the floor for about ten minutes, and I could have swore I was there for at least two days. It was crazy. It was intense. Holy shit. It was intense. It gets like that, dude. And all I hear in the background is be here now. I'm like, yeah, why don't I 
just be here. Where, where, what's, where's here? Where am I? And I said, was that Josh? Who's Josh? Josh is my friend from SDC. Where's SDC? My high school. Where did I go to high school? 50th Street. Where's 50th Street, Manhattan? And I started to connect everything in my life. Everything started to connect. It was like, shh, shh, like in a fuck. It was like weird. Like all these wires and shit was just connecting. Back. And I just fucking came up from the floor. And I just, Josh told me again. He was like, yo, be here now, bro. Are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm great. I'm fine. I'm here now. Yeah. I'm back. And I was actually speaking to myself. Yeah. He was telling himself yeah. to be here now the whole time. <laughs> Oh my, wait. He was oh talking to me. Oh he was God. talking to me. He was directing it to me, but he was talking to himself. You the were whole saying time it he was, loud, though. Yeah, yeah was he was saying, saying it, it to himself, like, yo, just be here now. But he was still talking to me at the same time. That's the thing about mushrooms. I feel like it takes you, it, it, it unveils the fourth dimensional, like, filter. Because Josh, because even though, yeah, veil, sorry. Even though Josh was t- talking to himself, he was still talking to me. In a sense, he was talking to me and himself in one motion. Mm-hmm. You know, it's kind of like a fourth dimensional concept. It's not no longer like out. It's more talking. It's within. He's talking out and within at the same yeah. time. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> Dude, that get, wait, I have to ask though, when you were going through that, like when you were out there, um, out of this body, what were you experiencing? You said you were experiencing other like uh, relatives or friends from the past, right? Yeah, <laughs> with, with it was their faces all mushed up just in my face. Like I saw it, like they were this close to me. That, that That's what you were experiencing? You yeah, were bro. Watching people's like And faces. having conversations with people. Do you remember? Like what, were they saying I remember, anything I remember, to you? I remember speaking to my mom and asking her if she was disappointed. It's kind of personal, but I remember asking her, like, is she disappointed and crying? But at the same time, I was happy because I don't open up to my mom. That's what I'm saying. I felt everything at once, bro. That was weird, bro. And she said, no, Damn. because you are you and I love you. And I know my mom didn't physically tell me that, but I know that's something exactly that my mom would tell me. That you, shit. you see, bro, like you see, yeah. like you do have a soul family and you... You know, you agree to come here together. And that's you know? what I'm saying. Is are, is are your parents a part of that soul family? It's more like to get the job done. Is it possible that there are people in your life who are very close to you that aren't a part of your soul family? Yes. Hmm. How can you tell the difference, though? It's all within, you know? Right, you'll just know I'm, type I'm of not, shit? I'm not related to you genetically, but I feel like you're a part of my soul family. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Same thing for Sean as well. Yeah. You know, see? Start this. Yeah, bro. And Noah in some way, of course. <laughs> we felt that bond when we first played. You see what I'm saying? Is the thing is is that yeah. what's crazy guys is that you know, you know, we're getting really spiritual here, but we're gonna connect it back to evolution as well. But the thing is is that when you get to the spiritual side of things, you gotta remember that we're thinking through a human consciousness. We're not thinking like in that dimension when we go wow. back bro yeah. we're gonna be like wait I think this like is that? bullshit like what, what was i doing hold on <laughs> i need to go back and fix this wow. you know and you think that way because you realize wait, wait wait i do this forever okay so i fucked up here let me go back and fix that you know what i'm saying and your soul group or your soul family is there to complete a mission with you it's not necessarily a purpose but it's a it's, to, it's a lesson that you need to learn and you're gonna keep going back until you learn the lesson. So maybe your mom might have, you know, pushed you to do certain things to get you to learn a lesson. That's their whole reason for you being there. And once the job is done, you move on. You get a new soul grant family. You do new things. What do you? What do we just say for knowing that the present moment? How to move forward with that knowledge and that ideology? Because you just gotta keep going. That's it. There's no, you know, because we're our memories are white. You know, we don't have the complete knowledge of what we came here for, what we're even doing here. You just got to keep going and follow your heart because your heart knows everything. It's actually more intelligent than your brain. Is it possible? Yeah. I'm sorry, were you finishing? No, yeah, I was going to say, like, you just got to keep moving and going through life. Whatever feels right is n- most likely right for you. Wow. Right, because this is what you're feeling within. You trust exactly. your instinct, trust right? your gut. What I wanted to ask was, is it? Po- do you think it's possible to have someone, let's say you're in my soul group, right? Yeah. But I'm not in yours. Yes. 
there's there's con- there's contracts exchange between souls. Like I'll probably like, like you're helping me with something, but I'm not helping you. With yeah, something. like I can just be like, okay, I'm gonna help you with this, and then it could be like one interaction. Like I come up to you and I say some weird shit. You like, ever had? You ever so had weird? Like, like your nice haircut yeah. and that fucking just boosted my confidence so much that I just started to risk everything and then I risked fucking and played the lottery or some shit like yes. that. Yes, you know what I'm saying? It could be like little crazy ass fucking like shit that. like that. I, you know, weird people come up to me sometimes and they just say some random shit that just doesn't seem so random. It'll be <laughs> like dialogue. like that guy with like is there a theory? <laughs> 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 number four. So like about, like like for example, when that monk came up to you and you thought he was selling you that book. But he was like, oh, oh we met yeah. before at another lifetime. Mm-hmm. You know, who the fuck says shit like that? You, you know that? what I'm saying? Did I ever tell you about that monk that came up to me in 59th Street on no. Columbus Circle? Like no. the entrance to Central Park? They're always there, too. The dude no. came up to me. He was trying to, like, sell, like get donations for these books, right? And it was these books, to, to, like, teaching you about, you know, like, the life before and, you know, your energies and all that stuff. And... You know, I said, you know, obviously I didn't have any cash. He was like, we take cash out of Venmo. No way. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, they nah. Like, I was like, yeah. <laughs> no. I was like, I don't have nah. any of that stuff. Yeah, I really don't. <laughs> and he goes, okay, well, I just wanted to let you know. I just wanted to let you know, like, I've I've met you before and I can feel that. And if I know who you are, you know who I am. You don't just say shit like that. You don't just. And you know, most people would think you're on fucking drugs. What kind of drug makes you think that? I don't know, but he knew me the way he looked at me. Yo. It was it was pretty. Uh, I was sometimes, pretty yo, sometimes I'll be on the train. That, bro. He so- fucking convinced me the way he fucking looked at me. It was like he fucking knew who I was. He knew me better than my mom. I <laughs> <laughs> that dude. Sometimes I'll be on the train. And he just I, one time I was on the train. And I saw this person across all the way down. Just kept staring at me, but it was like staring at me like I know you from somewhere. You know what I mean? It was mm-hmm. like hmm. Like, I, I've seen you somewhere before. That's crazy, yeah. It is weird, because I don't know who the fuck that person is. Or maybe I do. I just That's don't know. That's crazy. I be getting that on the train, too, now that you mentioned that. Yeah. You just make eye contact with a stranger, and there's just something, like... Because you know the difference between if someone's, just, like, looking at you, and they're, like, checking you out or something. Yeah, but then there's but just like, sometimes when you just lock eyes with people. They're the only person. And it's not, like, in a sexual way, either, where you're, like, checking a girl. No, it's no, just you just, just lock eyes, and it's just you're observing each other. Wow. That is just beautiful. There needs to be a movie about that somewhere. It has to do with some type of human evolution. I mean, yeah, there's biological stuff that definitely goes into that as well. You know, we're very, comp- like I said, we're very complex beings. Whoa. Our bodies are insane. We're capable of so much, but we lost the knowledge of our body. Therefore, we're not as powerful as we used to be, but we still are. We just don't know how to use it. It's like, it's like the dude said, um... You could take a, you know, a motorcycle back to the Renaissance era and leave the keys in the ignition. They can turn it on, but they don't know how, to, how it works and stuff. So they can't yeah. use the motorcycle to its fullest potential. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what I was talking about, like, placing, like, technology back in the past and them thinking it was magic. Yeah. No conception of how it works. Our bodies are insane, bro. Yeah. You're only getting better each day. I think this was a fucking amazing episode, bro. I really hate I'm actually going to take this episode home with me. Yeah, you're gonna, gonna with no, it. You know what else we're gonna take? We're gonna take this joint. We're gonna smoke it. Uh, the, wait, the, the episode's ending. Find out next time what happens on Astro Projection Part Two with Shafter Rodriguez, the host, and Santiago Nunez. Thank you for tuning into the Minds Eye. We come out with content every week. Please make sure to tune in and subscribe to the show. Thank you.